Hello and welcome to another Monkeys Motors Monday morning vlog. What have I been up to this week? Oh well, I'm running red lights again, Dan. It's alright, they were definitely amber. Jesus. Um, we'll just sit in traffic and have a chat, shall we? None of this filtering malarkey. Oh, so, obviously, the big event this week was the small, frosty, whatever it's called. Frosty Small Sausage Fest, that's the one. My brain is still a little bit broken from the ride there. So yeah, Saturday, rode 110 miles down to Lumi's Calf in Hampshire um, to a big like moto vlogger meetup organized by Spicy, Red Renner and Phil Tonic. Um, and it was a really good day, uh, really enjoyed myself. Um, as you may have seen from the video though, that long in a motorbike in such cold conditions seriously affected my mental health. I. Um, I just literally went insane. Uh, I can't. My apologies if any of you managed to sit through the whole thing, but I just lost my mind. It's just a mixture mixture of boredom of motorway riding and then just mind-numbing coldness throughout your entire body. You just I was doing whatever I could to try and just stay warm, stay alive, stay focused. So um, made for an interesting video. Um, the day itself at the CAF, it was a good day. My only regrets are, one, I could have done a bit more research before I went, because um, I guess the thing that sets me apart from other moto vloggers is like, I didn't start watching moto vloggers and thought, oh cool, I'd really like to do that, or nice indicating there, mate. Um, you have to indicate right when turning right. What was I about for? Bad drivers interrupted me. Yeah, I didn't kind of, you know, start watching some motor vloggers and think oh yeah i'd really like to do that oh yeah i'm a big fan of yours that kind of thing i just started motor vlogging you know originally back in 2010 when i was only 21 um just because it was 2009 even just because i wanted that security for if a car ever cut me up so you know, I, I didn't have that kind of fandom that a lot of the people there did. Where they're like, oh my god, it's so-and-so, and I've been watching your videos for ages. I really, I felt a bit bad how little, you know, there were these so-called famous people that people were posing for selfies and that. And I was like, alright, nice, cool, never heard of you. Um, I felt like a bit of a dick, you know. Um, but it was good to go, good to talk to these people. Um, obviously, you know, it's the... Uh, most of motor vloggers I've ever met in real life at once, so it was good to chat to these people about the cameras, video editing software, where they get the stickers printed, all that boring stuff. But um, I kind of wish I also would put a bit more effort into filming. Um, I kind of spent half the time there just recovering from the ride down, trying to warm up and get some sort of cognitive ability back. Um, as some of you that would have talked to me would have realised, I was Jesus fucking Christ! Just trying to get to work without fucking dying. But, as we've learned from our previous videos, getting angry is a bad response to people trying to fucking kill you. It's fucking icy. Oh, I'm gonna fucking rip his wing mirror off. Oh, breathe. 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 And relax. Be calm. If you'd crashed a motorbike, understand it really fucking hurts. I don't want to do it again. That cunt's trying to make me. Breathe. What are we talking about? Apologies for the volume. I'll try smooth it out in the editor. Oh, I don't want to get close to this fucker. I'm not filtering past because I don't think I can do it without getting angry. I'm keeping my distance. Anyway, this has got me distracted. Um, yeah, I didn't spend much time uh, filming. I uh, didn't get as good footage as I could have. Obviously, you may have seen the little crappy montage I made. Um, and, I, you know, it wasn't too bad. It was one of those things where I'd already spent quite a few hours editing the ride down. So I um, was almost edited out. Maybe I should have spread these videos over a few days and spent a bit more time editing. Um, it's because I kind of got into the editing more as I was making it. I was doing more cuts, kind of timing it with the music a bit better. And I did enjoy myself with the editing, but I kind of ran out of footage. So I wish I'd kind of spent more time filming everyone's bike individually and had a lot more footage to do quite a cool little montage. But 
there's always summer the next spicy f sausage fest hopefully will be occurring in the summer and then i'll go down to that and record all the things and then make a really epic montage video although i have to say you know i've made this video of all the cool cuts and the music whenever i start watching anyone else's of those videos i do just turn them off <laughs> some reason i don't find them that interesting although i've watched all the frosty sausage fest videos even the montages with music solely because i can then go through and go oh that is my bike oh that is me um, so yeah if you know as you would have seen out there any of you that have put up a uh, video from that day i am trawling through the video and putting in timestamps every time i see my bike in the comments because i'm a sad person oh i'm still a bit pissed off about that murder attempt <sighs> i know it probably you're probably sitting there you people on cars watching on cars i guess you get in cars you don't get on cars on cars um sorry no singing that was the rule for this video after the last video um but yeah it probably looked far away that pull out um this wide angle lens adds distance to everything everything seems twice as far as it does in real life um but just braking in these conditions is just such a stressful thing to do obviously you know we're prepared for it i was i was kind of staring at them thinking oh there's a car at that junction they wouldn't pull out there would they oh fuck they are so i was as you know hopefully you'll be able to hear in the video i'm smacking down through the gears engine braking light on the back brake building the front brake gradually and i came to a stop without crashing which is nice but um i still rather not have to do emergency stops in the middle of winter you could just not pull out that would be nicer you know it's not like in a car where you're just like oh i'll just push on this pedal as hard as i can and i'll come to a stop it's it's a bit more involved on the bike with a trying not to crash oh. so the other thing i want to talk about today but I've run out of time due to getting fucking angry is uh, my outro so i just wanted to clear up any confusion over a few of that few of you that may have watched it and thought oh that's a bit weird or that's not working properly is um so what i do is obviously i have my three videos for you to click on um the plan for the outro is you know it's on screen 30 seconds there's 10 seconds of audio from each clip first 10 seconds from the first one then the middle 10 then the last 10 and then um what i do is i fade from one audio to the other and while i'm doing that the video on the left the audio only comes out of the left speaker and then the middle video comes out of both speakers and then the right video only the right speaker so if any of you out there have a broken speaker um, like i know one of my viewers does or has a um does what i do a lot where i wear my headphones but i have one ear on one ear off so i can pretend i'm listening to what emma's saying um joking don't kill me so you might be thinking oh that audio is really quiet but it's because i'm doing this fancy fady shit left right malarkey um, which I could just pack in if a lot of you are finding it a bit distracting. I guess it doesn't really work on some mobile devices that don't have stereo speakers. <sighs> and then the other, I did have another thing to talk about, but that cunt pulling out just put me off schedule, was um, I wanted to say a big thank you to Martin, who I saw at the Frosty Sausage Fest. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you're watching this video. You seem to watch all of them nowadays, mate. Thank you very much. But um, yeah, he was... He was the only person there, I have to say, that, um, oh, let's wave to Amy. Oh, she's not looking. Give her a rev. She just, she don't give a shit. Um, sorry, colleague. What were we talking about? Martin. Yeah, he, um, he knew where I was. I felt a bit special about that. Obviously, there was Bearded Biker, Vita and Volkster. They all knew who I was, but I'd, you know, I spoke to them a lot previously. Um, I'd even met Vita and Volkster before. But yeah, no, Martin was the first time I guess I've had, I guess I could call him a fan. <laughs> Hope he doesn't mind too much. But yeah, but the first time I've had someone that, you know, is a subscriber to my channel kind of come up and be like, you're right. Um, and that, you know, gave me that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. That's the first time it's ever happened. You're my first, Martin. You broke me in gently. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, overall, good day. Just a bit of hypothermia. Yeah, if I had some sort of long range commute before, it's the first time you've seen the back of the hospital, aren't you? It's exciting. Um, I would definitely have a fed bike as much as I like my naked. My God, it was cold. <laughs> but yeah, I am seriously, I've got to stop talking now. So thank you for watching this Monday morning vlog. I'll see you next time. 
just a little 30 second clip um, where I'm going to have my previous Monday morning vlog, pretty much, um, my previous test ride video, and then a random video which I feel like I've ever ridden. All you do now is gently flick the starter and it comes to life. That is just magic. I love that so much. It's just that small, simple thing. Um, and I'd always look at cruise riders thinking, you know, why are you sitting in traffic? Why have a bike? If you can't filter through, you know, have fun in it, taking corners.